Recently, one of my students came to me with a very interesting Power Query problem, and I have to say, I don't think I've ever seen this before. Take a look at these numbers. Now, the thing is, these are model numbers. They're not intended to have arithmetic operations perform like sum or average. They're just numbers. And if you look at the formula bar while I'm clicking on these numbers, you can see that I'm not doing any rounding. I've not applied any styles. These numbers are as is the way they're displayed. But let's bring them into Power Query and see what happens to these numbers. If we go up to data and we bring this in as a table range connection, the numbers come in exactly as they appeared in Excel. In fact, if I move this off to the side, you can see they're exactly the same. But what if we didn't bring it in using the table range connector, but rather the Excel connector? Let's go ahead and cancel this. And we'll start a new blank Excel workbook. So this time we'll go up to data and instead of saying from table range, because obviously we don't have the data, we'll go to get data from file from Excel workbook. So here's our file. We'll go ahead and select it, hit import. We'll select the whole sheet. And we can even see in the preview that so far everything looks exactly the same. Let's go to transform data and everything looks exactly the same. But are those numbers really the same? You see, remember the user's not using these as regular numbers, they're using them as model numbers. They really should be treated as text. And if I go up here and I change the data type to text, look what happens to the numbers. All sorts of extra fractional precision gets added to this. Now this is not acceptable. The user doesn't want these extra numbers and they don't even know where they're coming from. In fact, if we delete the change type step, the numbers look normal, but if you preview these numbers, you can see that that extra fractional precision is still there. So why is it that that fractional precision was not in the original Excel file, but it is in Power Query? So I'll explain what's happening, and then I'll give you sort of a workaround if you have to deal with this sort of issue. The issue has to do with how Excel stores numbers using something called binary floating point notation. There are certain numbers in Excel that just can't be stored with 100% precision. So what Excel does is it creates another number that is so close in precision that the user's never going to see it at that depth because when they open it, it will get rounded up to the normal number they expect. So even if we were to click on these numbers, Excel can't store them as these exact values. So it adds a whole lot of digits to it that it knows that when that value gets rounded to either five decimal places or four decimal places, it will actually recreate the original number. So you don't see the original number here in the formula bar, but in the file, there is actually a different version of that number. And let me show you how you can see it. Back in 2007, when Microsoft overhauled all of their Office applications, that's when they went away from the traditional drop-down menus and toolbars and shifted towards the tabs and ribbon interface. But this is also the time when they re-encoded all of their files into the XML format. XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. So Word documents went from .doc to .docx, PowerPoint went from .ppt to .pptx, and Excel spreadsheets went from .xls to .xlsx. Now, unbeknownst to a lot of people, these Office files actually got turned into sort of pseudo zip files. And you can open these in a zip editor. In fact, if you were to go to an Office document, right click on that document and choose rename and change the file extension from .xlsx to .zip, you can actually work with this file like a zip file. And if you double click it and open it up, you can see the contents of the file. Now, I'm not going to go into all the neat things you can do with the raw zip file. But if we go into the Excel subfolder and then go to the subfolder called Worksheets, here you'll see every sheet in the workbook. And if we take this XML file and we open it up in a text editor, we can see the contents and we can scrub through it and do things with it. Now let's put this side by side with the Excel workbook. So here we can see in cell A2, here's the number that's in Excel, but underneath the hood, it's actually storing it as this hyper precision number. So that 0.31424 is getting stored as 0.31423 with a very precise extra fraction on the end that when rounded to five decimal places, that three will turn to a four. Now in the case of this 29827, it's storing decimal 29827, but then the extra fraction it's adding is so small that when rounded to five decimal places, that fraction will just fall off. Now I have another number down here, 0.2203, and if we scroll down, we can see in cell A8 is that 0 0.2203 number. So that's a number that it can actually store correctly, and it doesn't have to put this modifier on it. So it doesn't do this all the time. It just does it in certain situations. So when you pull these numbers into Power Query using the from table range connector, 
you're reading the numbers as they're displayed so you don't get the extra digits. But when you read it through the Excel workbook connector, it's actually digging into the Excel file and seeing the data at this very raw level with all these extra digits. So the question is, how do we get Power Query to read that Excel file, even with all these hyper-precise numbers, but bring it in the way Excel displays it so when we come up here and we do something like convert this to a text data type, we don't corrupt our model numbers. Now, my first thought was just to round this to say five decimal places. But because these are model numbers and there might be other model numbers that go beyond five decimal places and I need to retain those values, that didn't seem like a very good option. So here's my workaround. If you know of a better way, let me know in the comments. But this method seems to hold up. The method I came up with is to save this file in the older Excel format. Now, if this is just raw data and you're not using any of the more advanced features of Excel and you're not going beyond 65,000 rows in your data, this method seems to hold up. So we'll go up to File, we'll go down to Export, and then Change File Type. And here we'll save this in the older file format, the more traditional .xls file extension format. We'll save the file. So now let's start a new blank workbook. We'll go to Data, Get Data, From File, From Workbook. So here we can see the newer XLSX format that was giving us the issue, but now we have this XLS format file. If we open that up, hit import, we'll bring in the data sheet. Now all the numbers look good like they did before, but let's preview them. And notice in the preview, we don't get those overly precise fractions. And this is just because the older format doesn't store numbers the same way that the new format does. So if I go up here and I convert this to a text data type because these are model numbers, my numbers hold up. So if you're dealing with fractional values at a high level of precision, but those numbers should be treated as text, to avoid those extra underlying fractions from being preserved, resave the Excel file in the old Excel format. Bring that in with your normal Excel connector and everything holds up. Like I said, it's a very strange little problem and you may never encounter it, but I'm thinking for some of you who have seen this and you've pulled your hair out wondering why, this video might just be the answer you were looking for. Thank you for watching, and remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.